guys so today i am going to be filming a crystal collection video this is my first video so i'm super excited i've been trying to film this video for quite a while now and i guess i've just been putting it off because I haven't had the best lighting and the best setup. I wasn't really sure how I was going to film this video. Um, as you can tell, the sun is shining and it looks gorgeous. You can already see some rainbows. And I think this is going to be a better approach versus having all of my crystals in front of me on my bed because that's what I was trying before. And it just was not working out. It wasn't, um, wasn't very cute. So. Without further ado, I'm going to start showing you my crystal collection. So right here is this gorgeous, puffy, flashy, lavender amethyst heart. I love her color and she is extremely flashy. I like the shape of this heart as well. She's like really super puffy and just i love holding her i'm gonna move on to this bowl right here this has a bunch of different stuff in it it has some palm stones some carvings like a couple little mini spheres this little quartz sphere has a beautiful rainbow in it yes this is another amethyst heart this one is also extremely flashy I love this one. Here's a Hello Kitty carving, Rhodonite. Little Aura Rose Quartz, My Melodies. That's just a plastic butterfly. <laughs> this is a purple fluorite sphere. I love this thing. I'm trying to get the best lighting. You get the point. It's super pretty. Some super, super gemmy palm stones in here. Here's a super gemmy heart. This is rose quartz. Isn't that insane? It's literally see-through. Like super gyrosol. I love this one. This one right here is also super gemmy, just like the last one. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Super gemmy. This one is actually pink amethyst. She's super, super sparkly. But unfortunately, you can't really tell. Let's see. Yeah, you can't really tell, but... I really love her. She's like such a cute little free form. We have a little tiny itty bitty bean in here. Little Shiva. This is flower agate. Okay. Put all those girls back in there. I'll organize later. This one right here is my beautiful, like, super jelly um, rose quartz sphere. She's, like, a really, like, fluorescent pink. I feel like all of the colors are kind of washed out in this lighting. But all of my rose quartz spheres are different colors. And this one is just, like, a super, like almost orangey pink it's kind of weird it's kind of hard to explain it's like super super fluorescent but i love that one and i love the little stand she's in so cute back here i have some towers of rose quartz obelisk super pretty this one was one of my very first um statement pieces it actually is my first statement piece um huge yttrium fluorite tower i love this one as well as this littler smaller one 
This one I got from a friend. There's a little gemmy um, rose quartz, like, polished stone back there. It's not necessarily a palm stone, so I'm like, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> Here is a beautiful blue rose quartz sphere. I'm obsessed with blue rose quartz. This is my only sphere of blue rose quartz, and I just love her. This big girl right here is my pink mangano calcite sphere. When I put the shade on her, you can see that beautiful pink color. But um, I literally just think this looks like a planet. Like all of the rings that that um are around her. Like oh my god, I can't get enough of this one. This one's seriously one of my favorite pieces. Um, here is a little bubblegum pink rose quartz sphere. This piece um, is seriously one of my favorites in the world. This piece is um, Chinese Tiffany stone, also known as opalized fluorite. I love that she's a cylinder, and I also just love all these little inclusions. This beautiful little... Oh, do you see that? That green druzy pocket. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. I have asthma, so I, I kind of had an asthma attack last night, so I have a lot of gunk in my lungs. So if you hear me coughing, that's why. Um, focus. I really love this fluorite inclusion up here. And then these ones right here. And then this beautiful purple pastel side. That piece is seriously one of my favorites. Here is a rose quartz tower. Blue rose quartz tower, excuse me. Um, she does have a chipped tip, but I got her discounted for that. But I love this piece. Super gemmy and super beautiful. There's a rainbow right there. And I love the way she's shaped. Here's a tiny little rose quartz tower right here a beautiful amethyst tower little chunky girl if you see rainbows reflecting it's because i have these like rainbow films on my window so sometimes the rainbows are from my window <laughs> i will point out the rainbows that are actually in the crystal but yeah this one's super pretty. I guess I'll move back here. So this one is a nice four, five pound rose quartz sphere. I'll try to get her positioned here. I don't know if you can tell, but she has this little window right here. And it's like literally a huge rainbow in there. You can kind of get a glimpse of it but not too well. But I love this one. She's like super jelly pink and super like, I don't know how to explain this color of rose quartz. Like I have a little tiny tower that kind of looks like her. Let me see, I'll show you. Gotta put everything back. <laughs> this one right here. It's like super gemmy and clear, but this is kind of what she looks like. Like they're the same color. This baby right here is my biggest sphere and she is 13 pounds. She's on a spinning, oh my God, excuse me, <laughs> a spinning sphere stand. And as you can tell, she is full of flash. She does have asterism which you probably won't be able to see on camera, <laughs> but this piece is seriously like my baby. <laughs> I love her so much. Back here, I have a tower that I got for my birthday from my boyfriend. She is pink opal, and I'm absolutely in love with this piece. Her color is kind of washed out on camera. Um, She's definitely more of a, a mauve pink, though. 
say hi to my butterfly um this girl right here is lavender rose quartz as you can tell um the color comparison she is like purple and i seriously this piece has a special place in my heart i'm trying to get the window glare to like <laughs> the sun is kind of moving so the color is a little different I love, love, love this piece. She's so pretty. So flashy. There's a little rainbow. Oh my gosh, I love it. <clears throat> this piece here is my five pound pink amethyst sphere. She has like a beautiful purple strip right here and then a super kind of orangey pink right here and I swear to god that sphere is like pure sparkle you can barely tell on camera but um when you put a flashlight on her it's like glitter <laughs> it's like it was dipped in glitter so this one is another recent rose quartz sphere um pretty basic color but she is super super dark and gemmy and I just love rose quartz so much right now I'm just trying to get you know a piece of each kind of color I guess I want blue rose quartz lavender like Mozambique all those types of rose quartzes this one here is a super raspberry color I really 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 love this one she's kind of darker than all of my other ones as you can see um, she's really gemmy as well like does have some golden healer in there but I just love this girl so much I just recently got this from a local crystal shop I love it <clears throat> and if you have any questions about how I display my items like on um, these are candlestick holders I've seen a couple people do that, so, I mean, I can kind of link some things below if you want to know where I get some of my items. Um, where was I? I'll go ahead and start with this one. This one is a super... Let me get the right angle. It's, like, only getting... There we go. You can see there's, like, an entire layer of, like, this flashy jemmy stuff and i'm so obsessed with this tower like you can even tell how dark pink like that dark pink she is and this is probably my darkest like jemmy piece i mean i guess this one is these are kind of the same but this one is so jemmy and so flashy and i just love this mozambique rose quartz there's a little rainbow right there. She's peeking. She's showing herself. I love, love, love Mozambique. Here is a super gyrosoli rose quartz tower. Almost looks like clear gyrosol, <laughs> but I swear she is a little bit pink in real life. Here is amethyst flower agate. She is so pretty. I seriously love Flower Agate Amethyst. It's like one of my favorites for sure. I love her little druzy pockets. Has one there and there. So pretty. The sun isn't really hitting over here anymore. So I'm kind of sad because I think I started a little too late, but all right let me get a spot of sun this one is also amethyst flower agate she has a little more orange on the bottom but and then the back is literally stunning <laughs> she has like super super pretty flowers on her the formations are gorgeous
so gorgeous this baby right here i got this from a friend and i can say very confidently that this is one of my favorite pieces i don't know what what it is but like holding her feels so right and so comfy and she is filled with rainbows like that is not even part of it i don't know if you can see them on camera but this dt is so special to me This girl right here is one of my recent crystals. She is from one of my favorite crystal shops. This is Pink Amethyst. And I love her little sugar jersey pocket right there. It won't focus. Oh no. And I just love all the colors. There's like blue and lavender, purple and pink. And I just love these little formations right here she's so so pretty and i love the chunkiness of her here's my other pink amethyst tower also has a tiny little sugar jersey pocket and she is more lavender colored with like gray and i saw this and just had to have it because it's just so unique i don't think i've ever seen any pink amethyst like this i could be wrong <laughs> but I really love her. I have a lot of these hanging around here. This is a pink opal tower, and I got um like seven or eight of these. I do have some for sale on my Instagram, so I'll link that below. It's literally showing me like my window film on a lot of these, so there's like, it's not aura or anything like that. It's just like my window film, so I'm so sorry about that, but... And also, these pink opal towers are so much more pink in real life. I don't know what it is, but every time I try to photograph them, they're just not as pink as I'd like them to be. Like, this one right here is so dang pink. Like, this one is not for sale. <laughs> this one is my baby. Um, and I just love the shape of these. They're, like, really unique. I've never seen pink opal towers like that. Here is one of my absolute favorite free forms this is amethyst flower agate and i love her little green flowers and she has some on the back right here i just love this piece so dang much and she has rainbows and i love how the druzy goes like over the top of it there's some rainbows i love that so much one of my favorite pieces, seriously. I probably say that about a lot of these, <laughs> but it's true. I mean, like, who is gonna have a crystal collection and just not, like, favor all of her pieces? <laughs> um, oh, I forgot this little baby um, sphere right here. She has asterism. You can kind of tell, but super jummy and cute. Um, if I can get this off of the freaking table, my nails... <laughs> kind of impair me here we go okay this is my rose quartz free form and i wish you could see but when you shine a light through her she has a nice prominent star but other than that she's just super dark super gemmy mozambique rose quartz and i love her i love her so much you can definitely tell how dark she is, like, when she's sitting. <laughs> I already showed you this little tower, but I love this one. I like how it's, like, rounded on the bottom, so you have to, like, set her down. Here's my little bowl of mini spheres. This one looks like clear quartz on, t on camera, but it is a very light pink um, rose quartz. These are rose quartz, some amethyst, some blue chalcedony, and then the bowl is blue chalcedony. <sighs> There's like ugh, cat hair. <laughs> um, the bowl is blue chalcedony, and I seriously love this bowl so much. I wish I could show you, but um, it's 
super, super, super gemmy and, like, clear almost. Like, Blue Chalcedony is usually kind of cloudy. Like, more like this. You know? Oh, no! Oops. I'm knocking things over. I'm gonna just set this over here, because, um, these pieces are this little tiny... I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> and my nails are making it super hard to pick things up, so excuse me it's kind of embarrassing um this tiny little um amethyst point i want her to focus i don't know if it's gonna focus but i just want you to know that these little tiny points are seriously the love of my life i love them so much super gemmy butterfly this um, has a nice, nice, nice rainbow in it. I love amethyst with super pretty rainbows. Like, oh my gosh. That is so gorgeous. <laughs> Little um, druzy agate moon. My blue chalcedony heart and butterfly. I have a butterfly collection. This is a purple fluorite butterfly. I love this piece. Like, how stunning is that? This beautiful amethyst sphere with a huge, huge rainbow in it. And she's super clear. I love that one. I also forgot to mention, this is a uh, lavender rose quartz, like, I did not mention that. <laughs> um, we're getting kind of close to the end of this table. This is a pink amethyst freeform. I love the druzy, and then I like how this side is like very pinky and then you turn her around and she's super purple and i like these little like, cloudy formations she has a rainbow right there probably around this whole thing but i love freeforms because you can just like display her however you want and there's just so many different sides to look at <laughs> Here's another flower agate amethyst freeform. Super beautiful. So I think that's it for this table. I could get a little table scan right here. This is how I have my stuff set up. And then right above my table, I have this shelf. I'm not gonna really um, pick anything up from here. I might pick a couple things up, but um, it's because I have had things fall and then break because of how I have things set up. So I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna risk it. So I think some of these back here are the pink opal towers that I have for sale. I know I do have this one for sale up here. Um, she's super thick and gorgeous i love this piece um i have my mortar and pestle my uh pink mangano calcite one i have a clear quartz pyramid and then a clear quartz point i don't have a lot of clear quartz um i have this free form back here it's aura crackle quartz which is technically man-made um man-made to look like that then I have this little cabinet over here with some little perfume bottles, like a fluorite and um, rose quartz one. I have this star sitting here. It won't sit up properly, so it's just kind of laying there. Um, <clears throat> I don't really have this shelf set up the way I want it, so I'm hopefully going to get around to that eventually. And I think this little uh, pink opal tower is for sale. That or this one right here this one in the back um so i have my green fluorite um blue lace agate free form there's a piece of smithsonite back there um this beautiful yttrium fluorite sphere pink opal towers um some rainbow fluorite this double point and then this 
gorgeous i want to kind of grab this because um this gorgeous pistachio calcite star i just love this piece i got her from a spiritual convention and she's just so unique i've never really seen anything like her um i've kind of looked and can't find one so <laughs> i feel pretty lucky to have someone like her around um i have this beautiful puffy blue chalcedony heart and then I have this gorgeous flower agate tower. And I love her little druzy right there. I love the colors on this baby. Like, how pretty is that? It's like blue and purple. How unique. Okay, putting things back. And then I just have a little fluorite heart bowl the fairy and some <clears throat> some rose quartz tumbles and then I have my little kunzite sphere I love kunzite so so much this piece is super flashy and she's on a little Caribbean calcite um, butterfly sphere stand so that's all for that shelf and then I think I have some some dragon fruit tea made I'm gonna pour some up when I'm done. I do have a few crystals down here. I have this beautiful unicorn stone freeform and I really love this piece. This is kind of recent. And then the shelf just has a couple little random tumbles and stuff. Um, I have this Garnierite sphere. This was given to me by a friend. I love her. Just a random little rose quartz, a little amethyst geode heart, a little amethyst geode back there. And then I have this shelf, and this one has a little dish with some rhodochrosite spheres, some random, oh, this does not go here, <laughs> um, some random little chunks of pink opal some mookite, some, I think this is kunzite, um, I'm not really gonna show all my tumbles, but I have this celestite chunk back here, I love her, this shelf is so pretty, I love how I have this one set up, um, here is my bowl, this little point goes here, that's a little moss agate point, I have some Larimer in there. This Larimer is absolutely stunning. Some Ocean Jasper. I have a little Aquamarine Star in there. I have some Clear Quartz Points. I have this Moonstone Cabochon. I have some Labradorite in here. Um, I have a beautiful little fairy who's guarding all of the treasures. And I have it kind of sitting in this flower bowl. Here is Lemurian Aquatine Calcite, this beautiful butterfly. I love her so much. I do, like I said, have a butterfly collection. And then I have this, um, excuse me, blue Chalcedony butterfly. And then I have this beautiful Druzy Agate Sphere. I'm kind of trying to move through things a little faster. I don't want this video to be super long, but um, we're almost done. Yeah, this, so this Agate Sphere, and then I have this beautiful, huge, chunky blue calcite uh, tower. And my boyfriend got this for me quite a while ago. I love this baby. Um, and then this case I got on Killstar. Um, it's like the Killstar Cathedral display case. And she just opens up. Let me try to do this carefully. Um, I have an aquamarine star back there and then one down there. I love those stars. They're like, here, I'll try to grab this one since it's a little safer. I love these little stars so much. I had to get two of them. They're super flashy. Like, you cannot even tell. I have a little uh, clear quartz double point, a little Amazonite double point that you can't really see too well. 
um, this little agate, druzy agate sphere. I have a moonstone butterfly, some opalite bugs. I have this little Larimer, uh, Larimer cabochon, some fluorite shells. I have a aquamarine tower right there. I have blue chalcedony, a little kunzite cube, amethyst tower, and then last but not least, this beautiful little angelite double point. I really want more angelite. That's my only piece. So yeah, I think that is pretty much it for my crystal collection. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some inspiration or maybe, um, you know, just enjoyed looking at crystals with me. I know I, I always like talking about crystals and looking at crystals, so um, this was super fun for me. Um, if you have any questions, definitely comment down below and I will do my best to answer. I will link down below some of my favorite crystal shops. I won't link them all, <laughs> obviously. Um, and I do also shop at a lot of local crystal shops, especially with the recent Etsy tax hike. Um, I also have been um, shopping on Instagram a lot, too. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.